Good day. My name is Taryn G. Ferrer from Bachelor of Science and Secondary Education, and I'm going to discuss the difference of translation and transcription. First, let me discuss the transcription. Transcription is the process where the genetic information on a DNA strand is transferred into an RNA strand by a series of pol polymerization reactions catalyzed by enzymes called DNA-dependent RNA polymerases. This is the first step of gene expression, where the information is passed on from one structure to another. During transcription, RNA molecules are initiated, elongated, and terminated. The RNA form is the non-genetic RNA. Transcription occurs as the prerequisite from translation and occurs when there is a need for a particular gene product at a specific time for a specific tissue. Only one strand of DNA called the template strand is replicated during transcription and the resulting RNA strands are single-stranded messenger RNA or mRNA. Transcription of a gene occurs near the chromosomal site of the gene, which is usually a short, short segment of the chromosome. The overall process of transcription is a highly controlled process catalyzed and regulated by the enzyme DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. The first step is the recognition of specific DNA sequence termed promoter sequences that signify the beginning of the gene. It is then followed by the separation of two strands of DNA and replication of one of the strands by the RNA polymerase. The RNA polymerase in eukaryotes is different and complex than, the, than that in prokaryotes. The sequence formed after replication is complementary to the template sequence as the process follows the complementary base pairing rules of DNA, except the thymine is replaced by uracil. In prokaryotes, the overall process is regulated by proteins that function as signals or operators and terminate the process by physically blocking the RNA polymerase once the process is complete. In eukaryotes, various proteins termed as transcription factors are involved in the regulation of transcription. Besides, the post-transcriptional modification also takes place in eukaryotes where the pre-mRNA, the result of transcription, is edited by the process of slicing before the mature mRNA reaches ribosomes for translation. The mRNA thus produced acts as a blueprint for protein synthesis during the process of translation. Depending on the sequence of DNA chosen for transcription, rRNA and tRNA synthesis also occur. Transcription occurs in the nucleus of eukaryotes and cytoplasm of prokaryotes, where the enzyme and the transcriptional factors are available. It is inhibited by some antibiotics like rifampicin and 8 hydroxy or 8-hydroxyquinoline. The process can be detected by methods like RT to PCR, DNA microarray, in situ hybridization, and northern blotting. So let's move on to the translation. The translation is the process of protein synthesis where the information on RNA is expressed in the form of polypeptide chains. 
It is the second and last step of gene expression where the information encoded on the mRNA sequence results in an amino acid sequence. The starting point of translation is the mRNA formed from the process of transcription of a particular DNA sequence. Thus, translation follows transcription. Even though the information on the mRNA is utilized to produce the amino acid sequence, other forms of RNA like tRNA is also required for the process. Like the transcription, translation is also controlled by various factors and, enzy and enzymes where the most important enzyme is the amino acetyl tRNA synthetase. Translation begins with the initiation step, which involves the binding of mRNA to the ribosomes followed by the transfer and binding of activated amino acid to the tRNA. The second step is elongation, where two amino acids are joined by the peptide bond as the mRNA and ribosomes move with respect to one another to ensure the translation and codons successively. Once all the codons are translated, the resultant polypeptide sequence is dissociated from the translation complex, and the ribosomes are also released to begin another process of translation. Termination is followed by post-translation modification where the polypeptide needs to be folded to obtain the three-dimensional configuration. This occurs in the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus of the cell, and thus, the polypeptide chains are moved to those organelles. Other modifications are chemical in nature and involve the attachment of functional groups to the peptide sequence. The process of translation is regulated by the binding of ribosomal subunits to the translation complex. The ribosomes function as enzymes for the regulation of various steps. In eukaryotes, translation occurs in the ribosomes associated with the endoplasmic reticulum, whereas in the prokaryotes, it occurs in the cytoplasm. The translation is inhibited by antibiotics like tetracycline, chloramphenicol, streptomycin, erythromycin, anisomycin, cyclohexamide, etc. Similarly, the process of translation can be detected by methods like western blotting, immunoblotting, enzyme assay, protein sequencing, etc. And that's all for today's video. Hope you learned something. Thank you.